Within the desktop GIS application, we have the option of performing routing analysis. The routing tools will be installed as part of the applications and you can see we've got a list of all the different routing tools that are available and it allows us to measure a route or perform advanced analysis such as one to many or one to all routes. So in its basic format, what you can do is using a routing network such as the integrated transport network we have here, what you could say is that we want to measure a route using our ITM road expression and we're going to create a brand new line item. We can click OK and we want to measure from one point to the other. And it's going to take in road routing information to work out the, the best route that you can take to get from point A to point B. And it returns and says it's going to take six minutes and 20 seconds for us to, to do that. So we also have more advanced analysis based on this, which allows us to say that actually we might want to show the catchment areas from a particular score based on drive time distance. So I've got my score selected. And when I say uh, I want to create an isochrome, which is effectively a drive time distance, we can set the travel time limits. We can set a distance for the area to be captured and we can decide whether uh, we've got different options to fill these or create insect areas. I'm still going to use my ITN road expression. And when I click OK, what you'll see in the back is it's creating these isochromes based on the configuration that we've just input. And when it's done, we can see we've got the isochrome in front of us and this gives us our travel times from our scores. So as you can see, this routing benefits us because we can easily view distances from a score to work out school catchment areas, which can save us time and money.